up everyone? So, got a quick special announcement for you today before we get into the box review. So, my bestest buddy in the whole wide world stopped by earlier today and gave me my birthday gift. And the reason I bring it up is because it's something we can all enjoy. He gave me a brand new camera. I'm sure you can tell it looks a little bit different, lighting's a little bit different. That's because I actually have a video camera now. This entire time I've had this channel, I haven't had a video camera. I've been shooting it off like a DSLR, like photography style camera, which is shit. It's a total piece of shit. It's not meant to record video. I haven't had a video camera. Now I have an actual video camera that does like autofocus. Like I can hold stuff up now and give it a sec and it'll actually autofocus on it. Is it doing it? Can't tell. Well, it does it eventually. But anyway. So, people can actually see what I'm talking about now. I can hold things up and people can see it because it'll focus on its own. It's an amazing thing to have, isn't it? So, that's incredible. I'm so happy to have that. And on top of that, I can shoot continuous video. I don't have to stop and start my camera every 10 minutes like I did before. So, I don't have to spend extra time editing and stuff. So, hopefully this means that I'll be able to output videos more often now that I have an actual video recording camera. So thanks to my best friend in the world, hi Brenton, hey. So thank you to him for giving me an awesome birthday gift. This is going to mean like the, a world of difference and hopefully it's going to make a big difference on the channel. So um, yeah, I hope you guys can enjoy that. Uh, I haven't tested out the audio yet so you guys will have to let me know if you can hear me okay because I haven't checked that at all. But other than that, yeah, so far so good. Like it's so nice to have like a video camera. Like I've done over 100 videos without a video camera. So that, that's just very cool to me. Anyway, so we have a box here today, Nerd Block. Let's get into this box and start reviewing. Oh, one more thing I'll talk about. Um, some changes coming up on the channel. So, um, new camera, also it's going to be in a new location. I'm moving all my stuff here. Uh, everything's getting moved out of here, all the stuff you see behind me, because, again, this entire time I've been doing it very unprofessionally. It's been in my bedroom. Like, my bed's been, like, right behind the camera. It's just too small. It's too much is happening, the channel's growing, so everything's moving out, turning the garage into a studio, a film studio, so I can keep my camera equipment up all the time, I don't have to set it up and take it down every single video, and hopefully again, that'll mean output of more videos, so that I can do more of that, and you'll be able to see more of my collection, so stay tuned for that. So I just want to let you know, if you see things disappearing off the shelves behind me, that's because it's getting moved, so don't be alarmed. Anyway, time for the box, Nerd Block. Let's get into it backwards. So, da -da -da. first off, we have a t-shirt. And like I said in the last video, I'm going to be giving individual ratings for t-shirts. And also in the last video, I mentioned that this shirt was a good example of just like a, a genuine shirt. Like this is a crossover, so this is a crossover between, um, so it's G.I. Joe and um, Karate Kid, I believe. Which is, which is a weird crossover. It's two genres that are like, that's a weird men together. So that is weird, but they did it okay. Something I was saying about shirts in general, um, sometimes people don't get the references. It happens. There's too many things out there, and it's hard for everyone to understand the joke that they're making. Crossovers are very abundant because people don't want to pay for licensing, so sometimes the joke doesn't come across. But that shouldn't technically matter. If you get the joke, that's great, but if not, you still want a shirt that you like. And this one, I think, is a genuine shirt. Like, even if you didn't get the crossover, even if you don't get the reference, it still looks like a cool shirt because it's not too outlandish. It's not mashing characters together. It just looks like a car, like a, a shirt for like a muscle car. It looks like for like a Cobra or a Mustang or like a Cobra Shelby, something like that. So it just looks like a regular shirt. So even if you don't get the reference, you're not going to feel like a dumbass wearing like a goofy crossover shirt because it just looks it just looks okay on its own, even if you don't get it. So that's something I appreciate, and that's something I'm going to take into consideration when rating my shirts because some of the crossovers, they look weird, and if you don't get the joke, it just looks stupid. So... That's why I mentioned this in the last video. Shirts like this are appreciated because you can wear them all the time. You don't have to be in the mood to like wear something funny or like having to go to a convention or a movie that where the shirt is relevant. You can wear it anytime and be okay. So, that being said, it is Gildan, but it is the soft style, which is like they're actually somewhat fitted, which I appreciate. 
they're a little bit short sometimes, but so that does increase the quality a little bit. Um, I'm going to give this shirt a 7 out of 10 on my rating scale because I like it. I think it looks cool just on its own. It's not perfectly fitted, but it's pretty good. And um, even if you don't get the reference, it still looks like a good quality shirt. Uh, the reason it only got 7 is because, you know, it didn't blow me away. It's not super amazing, fantastic, but it's definitely good. It's a really good shirt, and I think most people would enjoy this. It seems to be geared a little bit towards men than it would be women. So, again, that does affect its rating a little bit, but that I would say overall this is a good shirt, good quality shirt, and I, I, I think most people would enjoy it. So, that's been the shirt. Next, we have a Titans figure. This is an exclusive Titans figure, which is uh, something we've seen a lot. Oh, I'm still not used to like being able to hold items up. Focus, you bitch. Focus. Is it doing it? Eh, I think it did it. So, anyway, um... Yeah, this is an exclusive Titans figure from Buffy. And um, something about Titans I've mentioned before, they, they make really good stuff. I like their figures, but they don't always pick the best franchises. They seem to pick ones that like aren't as like majorly popular. Like Buffy was a popular show, but not that popular. And uh, a lot of the other franchises they seem to have licenses with are somewhat a little less popular, which is fine, but it's like... I, I just haven't watched the show, so I can't appreciate this to the full extent. But regardless of that, it is an exclusive figure, and Titans is a really good company. They make good quality stuff. And they make realistic faces that actually look like the characters, versus the pop figures that just don't look like anyone, unless it's a superhero. So I appreciate that they do more realistic figures that look like people. That's very cool. So if you were a fan of Buffy, or at least watched it, I'm sure you're totally in love with this. But for everyone else, it's like... I'm sure a lot of people like either didn't like Buffy or just like genuinely haven't watched it like me. So, so it's like, well, it's kind of bittersweet, but it's still, uh, regardless, cool to get um, exclusive figures from such a great company. So that's very much appreciated. Next, we got a pop, a pocket pop. We got Iron Man. We got the one from the Avengers, which looks really cool. So. Um, I actually happen to have this one. This is like the only pocket pop I have, which just proves my point that like I'm just never I'm, I've stopped buying Funko products like that unless it's exclusive because they always show up in boxes. So I just gotta like stop altogether because constantly getting duplicates. So, but this is a cool keychain. I really like what they did with this Iron Man one, and I like the smaller figures. So I appreciate that. Next, we got a wallet, a Ghostbusters wallet. Now, these are a special kind of wallet. They're not the normal kind. I'm forgetting what the name is. Tyvek. So, it's a Tyvek wallet. So, it, when you feel it, it kind of feels like paper almost. It doesn't feel like leather or plastic or anything. It feels kind of like the consistency of paper, which makes it feel cheap, but it's actually not. This is actually very sturdy. It's, they say it's like fully waterproof and practically indestructible. So, it's a different type of wallet, but it's really cool though. Like you can see the inside, and yeah, I can hold things up now because we can see it. That's so cool. Auto focus on my camera. Shit yeah. So anyway, uh, it has a really cool design on the inside. You can see like the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man and different designs on there. And then it's got the Ghostbusters emblem on the back side. And that. And then it's got like lots of space in there. Lots of space to hold your cards. Blah blah. blah. So yeah. It's very nice to be able to show things up there. But anyway, uh, this is a really cool wallet. It's a little bit different style than I'm sure some people are used to, but it's still really cool. I like the design in it, and it's a, a sturdy kind of wallet. So, And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is exclusive as well. Yeah, this is exclusive as well. So I've seen these types of wallets come up a lot. They're not like super expensive or anything like that, but they're just cool because you can put a lot of designs on there, and they're not like the cheap like felt kind like that you had in the 90s. So that's really cool. I, I really like that, especially because it's exclusive. And it had some cool designs on there. Again, it's only useful if like you needed a wallet, but I think wallets are something that most people can use, and if you use a wallet, you can always switch it out every once in a while. So I think that's cool. I like that very much. Next, we got a figure. Now these are really cool. These are little tiny um, Transformers figures. I can't tell you how excited I am to just like hold things up to the camera and then have you be able to see what the fuck I'm talking about. The focus is. Give it a second. Focus. Do it. Is it doing it? Can't tell. 
Oh, there we go. Oh, shit. Okay, so I got Optimus Prime, but they were just a set of like little mini figures. They're very small, and they're just like monochromatic, like they kind of look like steel ish. But yeah, they're just little Transformers figures. They look very cool. They're the cell phone hanging type. So it was just a mystery blind bag, and I actually really like them. They're very detailed. They look like metal, even though they're not, and they're just very small with a lot of detail on there. I'm sure you could tell with my camera focused, then that you can see like the detail on there. So I thought these are really cool. Fun little surprise like from Transformers. Why not? That works. Next, the last item, we got a comic book. Mad Max. So I don't know if this is a, I don't know if this is like a popular series or anything, but it, eh, it's, it's a number one at least, so that's cool. And I believe this was also a Nerd Block exclusive, not the comic, just the cover, so we got an exclusive cover there, which is great. I appreciate that. I haven't had the time to read it yet, but it seems like a cool series uh, regardless. So, let's go back through the box and talk about some value. Starting with the shirt. So, like I said, shirt will get the value standard 12 to 15, but a rating on the shirt I give it a 7 out of 10. I thought it was very good. I thought I liked the design. I think it's a design that most people can enjoy and it seems somewhat fitted. So I, I think overall that's a pretty good shirt. And I think 7 out of 10 is a pretty good score. So 12 to 15 on that. Next, the Titans figure. So this is only going to get a value of 10 to 12. And for the reasons I said before, um, it's exclusive and they do great figures, but I don't think this series was popular enough for the exclusivity of it to matter. So uh, there's not a high resale market on this. People are selling it for very cheap because I don't think that many people were like huge fans of the show. Um, it's a little bit dated, so there's not like a ton of people that were dying to get it. So it kind of depends on the franchise. If it was a popular franchise, the fact that it's exclusive would have raised the price a whole bunch. But if it's not a popular franchise, then it doesn't matter whether it's exclusive or not, because if no one wants it, then who cares if it's exclusive? So, unfortunately, that doesn't bring up the value really at all. Like, a 10 to 12 is even being generous, because people are practically giving these away online. So, that's kind of unfortunate. It's kind of a bummer. But it's still a really good figure. I think it's good quality. I just think people just aren't appreciating the character as much, which is, which is a bummer. So, that's why it only gets a 10 to 12 rating, because normally they would get much more due to the fact that it's exclusive. But... 10 to 12. Then, our wallet. This is going to get about 8 to 10. Um, again, people, you can find this exact wallet online for super cheap because as soon as it shows up in the box, everyone's just selling them. You could probably find it for like a dollar or something if you looked real hard. But as far as quality is concerned and if that were, it were sold in stores, I could see this going for 8 to $10 easily because that's probably what a wallet of similar quality and style would cost in the store. So if you wanted this specifically, you could find it much cheaper online, but as far as quality and resale market in the store is concerned, around 8 to 10. Next, the pop figure, the mini pop. These are five bucks. Really no argument there. Funko stuff's really easy to rate because they have exact prices. It's five dollars. If you're paying more than that, don't. Next, figure. So this I'd see going for like three to five. I, I thoroughly enjoy this. I'm very happy I got Optimus Prime, by the way. Like that's, I think, is the number one figure anyone would want. And it had really good quality. It's just good little style. I'm obviously going to remove the keychain part and just use the figure and put it on a shelf, which I think is cool, but I, I genuinely liked it. Um, but the it would probably cost like three to five. Um, if five dollars even seems like a lot, probably closer to three dollars, because it's not that, that big of a deal. It's just a blind bag. And I, if, they probably sell something like this at Target, and I could see it going for like, again, like three, four, five bucks, somewhere in that range. So, three to five on that. So, last item, the comic. So, the exclusive comics get a pretty standard rating. Um, a normal comic uh, costs about four dollars, give or take, depending on how popular the franchise is. Now, when a comic is exclusive, it usually, typically, jumps up to about ten dollars. Again, it's not a general rule, but like as I've seen as we've been getting them and I check prices, it usually jumps up to 10 and then plus shipping depending on where you're getting it shipped from. So I give this a range of about 4 to $10. Um, uh, 
usually a lot of times the exclusive ones will go a little bit higher than that maybe like 12 15 so on and so forth but again just like the figure it depends on the franchise and mad max although cool movies good franchise i don't think it's particularly popular for like comic collectors or anything like that so i don't imagine a very high resale value on it so that's why i'd probably cap off at like ten dollars and again general range give or take but if it was like a marvel one like the like the secret wars one we got a while ago like that went up to like thirty dollars so that was really nice but i can't imagine collectors like dying to get this one so i could easily see it going for ten dollars online on ebay or something like that not including shipping so a range of four to ten dollars somewhere in there would be a good price for that so with that being said, um, on the low end, this box got about 42, and on the high end, about 57. And I would rate it more towards the high end, because like I said, the exclusivity of the comic, I, I wouldn't give it $4, I just gave it that range. It would probably be closer to 10 maybe even a little more. So, absolutely no surprise here, it gets, the box gets around a $50 rating. I'm, I'm like so shocked that it gets that price point every time. It's like so on point about giving that exact price. Which is good because that's a really good price point. Like that's almost double, which is fantastic. And it's consistent, which we really appreciate. It makes my job easier to give ratings and to help you guys out because when people ask about it, I know exactly what to say. When people ask about the nerd block company or what to expect from that box, I can almost give like an exact answer of exactly what to expect. Usually a shirt, always a crossover, guild and brand, soft style, often figures, always Titan very often exclusive you know what shows they're from Buffy, Doctor Who, Breaking Bad, Ghostbusters like it's very to the T which um, some, most of the time would be bad to get the same things constantly but but they they give good quality stuff they really take some time to pick out good quality stuff so I'm I'm pretty much never disappointed from this box sometimes they make weird choices which it's okay like it's cool to push the envelope a little bit and try new and interesting things but um, yeah, I'm, I'm always pretty happy with this. It always gives around a $50 rating, and I think that's great. So really no complaints here. And you got a good mix of stuff. You got exclusive stuff. Um, I wish the figure was from a different franchise, but I'm sure lots of people will really like that. Uh, and uh, in the future, I hope Titans get some, some better franchises under their belt. I really do, I because I love that company so much, but there's just like so little that I like from them because they pick weird franchises. But that's just me. That's just my personal opinion. Nothing to do with it. So, uh, rating on this box, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. So it's d definitely a very good box. Not fantastic, not blowing minds, but definitely good. A 5 and above is always on the good side. So it's like right in halfway between a good box and a perfect box. So like right in that middle mark. So definitely worth the money. Uh, if anyone asks, I would absolutely recommend it. There's nothing I wouldn't recommend about it. Um, so yeah, that's about all I can say about it. So, uh, this has been Nerd Block, 7 out of 10. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think of the new camera. Can you see me okay? Did it focus okay? I couldn't tell if it's focusing or not. Is the lighting okay? Can you hear me? Let me know all that stuff. Uh, until then, see you guys in the next video. Love you all. Peace.